This is 3D printed aluminum. And it's time to get serious. We've moved on to 3D printed metal now. I've been doing this series where I've been testing some of the strongest 3D printing materials. It started off as a gag where I made a 3D printed socket out of PLA and attempted to remove a tire. Can a 3D printed wrench remove a tire? No. Obviously it didn't work, but here we are now. I've been able to do it with a few different materials. And yes, I know I called it a wrench in the video. Please leave another comment letting me know that. You can watch the previous videos, but I'll also catch you up real quick here. So last time I tested Peak, which is one of the strongest 3D printing materials other than metals, and it did really well. It was able to remove a lug nut that was torqued down to 100 pound feet, but it failed just shy of 120. And the time before that, I tested one that was made of nylon carbon fiber. In the first attempt with that one, it broke at 80 pound feet, but I reprinted it and tried it again and I was able to remove it at 100 pound feet. I also messed around and tried it out on an impact wrench, which it broke immediately, but I might want to try it again with this aluminum one. Now, as metals go, aluminum is not one of the strongest, but I think this will do really well. It's thick, it feels really solid. My thought on how it might fail is it might round out on the inside. Aluminum is a little bit softer, but just feeling this, it feels really strong, so. I'm confident it'll surpass any of the plastic materials I've tried so far. So let's get to the test and let's quickly go over the setup as I've done this a few times now. So I'm gonna torque these lug nuts down using a torque wrench. I'm gonna start at 40 and go up in increments of 20 until we get to 120. So far, nothing's been able to go past 120, but I think this one might. So if it works, we'll keep going higher. And once again, as I mentioned before, it takes slightly less torque to remove a lug nut than it does to tighten it. So keep that in mind. In that original gag video, I said, can I remove a tire using a 3D printed wrench? So I'm just gonna keep going with that test as a baseline comparison. I'm also just gonna wrap it in tape because with the nylon one, when it broke, it just shattered everywhere and hopefully the tape will catch any fragments if this one does too. Since I don't have a printer capable of printing aluminum, I had PCB Way print this one for me. More on that later. Like I said before, I'm just going to start by torquing these down using this torque wrench. That was 40, 60, 80, 100, and finally 120 pound feet of torque. Up first is 40. And that came off really easily. Not surprising. And that is me neurotically checking if the camera's recording and we're all good. Let's get back to it. On to 60. And also pretty easy. Let's see how 80 goes. Okay, easy so far as expected. We're up to 100 now and that's what the other one's got too. All right. Up to 120. So far, none has gotten to this. We had the nylon carbon fiber fail here, and we had the peak one fail here. And that was pretty good. So I'm going to keep going higher. Let's try 140. We'll see how that goes. Maybe 160. I'm afraid to go too high in torque on this because I could break the wheels, but I think that should be okay. And then I'm gonna try the impact wrench as well and see how that goes. Once again, torquing them down, that one's 140 and the next one's 160. Ooh. That's pretty hard, <laughs> okay. Oh my god, okay. I'm actually a little worried now. That was a lot of force on there. Oh, yeah. Maybe a bit of warping, maybe, or... All right, 
it is pretty good. Not much deformation or everything. You can see a little bit of scratches where it's starting to press into the metal just a little bit, but it's pretty strong. I think it's okay. I'm gonna try it on the impact wrench now. I'm gonna just torque them down to 100 again and just go at it like I'm auditioning for NASCAR and just take it off as fast as I can. This thing just doesn't want to break. Like, I don't even know what to try next. I feel like I'm going to break my car before I break this socket. So, I can't seem to break this one. Not with this test anyway. I'll have to come up with some new tests to really push it to its limits. Now, I think the impact wrench was the only thing able to do any damage. You can see a little bit of deformation around where the impact wrench went in. And there's also some slight indents on the lug nut side. It did way better than both the Peak and Nylon Carbon Fiber one, which is no surprise at all. This one's metal and those are plastic. I'm still really impressed with the plastic ones though. So, would I recommend using a 3D printed one over a store-bought one? No, but it does demonstrate the strength of 3D printing. If you have designed something that needs to be really strong, but can't be made from traditional CNC machining, consider using 3D printed aluminum. It definitely has its uses, but this is not one of them. This was just for a fun test. PCB way is coming off looking pretty good here. I wasn't paid for this, but if you want to use their service, you can head on over to their website. I'll leave a link in the description. They're a very easy service to use. You just got to bring over your file, load it up, and select the materials you want, select the other specifications such as infill, and then you'll have an expert look over it before they make it and send it off to you. They ship it away nicely packaged and it comes very quickly as well. One thing that I was impressed with was the dimensional accuracy of it. I know metal's prone to shrinking so I was really happy that the dimensions were accurate. Full transparency, I was sent this free of charge but with no obligation to say positive things about it. Thank you so much for watching. I've started a Patreon now, so if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You can get your name up here at the end of every video. If you like the video, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.